Hello my fishy friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daylin and I am the Walking Mermaid. Today is part two of creating my own wedding dress. And today you will see a sped up version of me ironing out the seam allowances of the dress, adding the boning which gives structure to the bodice, and then attaching the middle fabric and lining to the outer fabric so it becomes more of a one piece that I can actually wear and I'm really excited to show you guys and walk you through the process, so let's go. So here you can see I'm just pressing open the seam allowances and ironing. I use a tailor's ham to iron on the curves of the bust just to get that crisp edge and to make sure everything is flat and nice. And I will also iron out the wrinkles on the regular, so or the regular parts of the fabric just to make sure everything fits well on the inside. And I will also iron the outside of that, again, just to make sure everything looks nice. Now you'll see that I am taking the boning and measuring it out probably half an inch under the seam edge on both sides. And then I will take a lighter and light both ends of the boning. It is plastic, so it melts and makes a nice smooth finish. And that's so it doesn't come out and poke me while I'm wearing it. And yeah, so then I will take my fabric, put the boning on there, and then sew down the side of each side of the boning. And this is a sew-on boning. It does not have casing. I think it's called Ridgeline or Ridgeline. Um, I've never used it before, but I think it's pretty cool. So I don't have to mess with the casing and stuff like that. Um, it just depends on what you're making and what you want the look to be. I don't want the bones to show through the front of the bodice so I chose to have an inner fabric with the bones and I think it'll be what I, exactly what I want. And I just keep measuring and placing the best I can. The curves were a little tricky to sew in so I opted to just tack them in on that part and then go over it later with an actual stitch and see um, everyone makes mistakes. So I'm having to fix a mistake by ripping out the thread and re adjusting everything. It happens. And there we go. So there is the curved edge. I'm gently going in, starting from the bottom and going up slowly and surely. And right here I am ironing out the outer fabric, so the main fabric that you will see on the dress, the satin, the matte satin white. Um, doing the same thing here with the curves and the tailor's ham and ironing, just making sure everything's flat. And then I'm taking the seams and surging off the extra amount of fabric just to make sure you can't see the seams through the white fabric when I have it on. And to cut down on the bulkiness that might show through when I'm wearing it. And right here I'm just clipping off the extra threads that are on the middle fabric before I connect the middle fabric to the outer fabric. I'm pinning them up, aligning them exactly how they should be, and pinning them together so they don't move. And finally I am now ironing and doing the same thing to the lining fabric. And the directions had me fold the end of the lining and then cut off maybe half of that. That is what I'm doing there. And then finally, attaching the lining right side to right side to the outer fabric that is also connected to the inner fabric. And pinning that together. And then sewing it all together with a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance at the top. And 
And then it has you cut off the excess fabric, not to the thread, but just enough to make sure that bulk isn't on there. And then you turn it right side out. And I'm just top stitching the lining fabric onto the seam allowance. So that helps it with the lining not poking up and through visibly when you are wearing the garment. And then I'm just kind of finger pressing that down, making a few adjustments. Oh, I know what happened here. The boning actually was too long, so I couldn't sew over it. So what I had to do was to kind of undo that part and cut off a little extra boning and then, you know, make it smooth again with the lighter. And then I'm gonna go back and sew, and it's all good. And finally, I am just ironing out that edge to make it crisp and flat and wearable, basically. That tailor's hand is so useful. And going on the outside real quick. And here is the lining with everything attached on the inside of the garment and the outside that you will actually see on my body. And that is it for part two of making my own wedding dress. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I love sharing with you. Uh, I cannot wait until part three and I hope you come back for that too. <laughs> part three will probably be finishing the bodice and starting the skirt, which I'm really excited about. And I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.